Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and I am being interrupted by a cow. Uh, okay. Oh, and it's nighttime. Of course it's nighttime. I'm getting ready to start the stream. Let's do a quick, quick roundabout. I did, <laughs> I ended up doing the off switch for now that I really didn't want to do in that uh, I, I changed the biome away from deep ocean so the guardians didn't overwhelm my uh, very small storage system. Um, the cart was not picking things up fast enough for me. So I, I got some uh, boots here of uh, Frostwalker 2. And I installed a door in the side. Hello, Beach Duck. Uh, so that way I could go running around collecting stuff faster if I needed to. Um, and it's just some cheap prismarine. I might come back and redecorate a bunch of this with, uh, with the prismarine bricks and prismarine blocks. Since that is an option, like I might, uh, I might turn these corners into some sort of special column. I was originally going to try to leave that space open in case I wanted to expand the farm. I have zero <laughs> need to expand the farm. Uh, I might also uh, go back under here and rework the minecart system so that way there are two carts. So I've got six wide on this track and I think what I might do is position the chest closer to the center and have one cart just run for those three rows and one cart run for those three rows and try to double the pickup speed and just have them both feeding into that chest. That is a thought. Uh, as far as... Ooh, I forgot to... Yeah, alright. There we go. Is that all the pumpkins? That's all the pumpkins. Unfortunately, the pumpkins don't get... Uh, don't accumulate as quickly as lemons. Still, that's not a bad haul. Okay. Um, so, I don't know if I'll get to any of that today. What I might do instead is turn a portion of this side here into a kelp farm. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that, though, because on the one hand, this will work fine. I won't have to worry about slimes spawning inside a kelp farm, but I just realized that when I turn this chunk into deep ocean for the guardian farm I'm going to get uh, other critters in my kelp farm so I'll end up with squid and dolphins and things and that might be problematic but uh, I might do it anyway just so that way that space gets put to practical use and on this side I might put the sugarcane farm a new and improved sugarcane farm uh, those, those are the two small farms I would like to get done today. Uh, in no small part because I would really like to tear down the sugarcane farm that's up here. So that I can double up the cactus farm. Because uh, I'm rapidly running out of December. Uh, matter of fact, I, I can't help but notice that I am rapidly running out of December in all the ways that matter to include... Uh, shopping for a particular gift-giving occasion. Um, doing some other stuff related to said uh, gift-giving occasion. Uh, <laughs> oh, and getting the server server transfer squared away. Uh, a demi skosh of server update news. Um, I, I made one small screw-up that put us... Uh, way behind in the migration queue. So this server will not be migrated to Nodecraft by the Nodecraft staff before the cubed host is, um, <laughs> before cubed host is, is uh, retires our server. Which means after the live stream, 
I am going to have to run a server backup and do the migration myself because our cubed host server will meet its uh, appointment with the uh, outer darkness um, tomorrow. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Alright. I mean, te technically I don't have to do that tonight, tonight. Uh, or at least I... Technically, all I really need to make sure is that I've got a backup of the server tonight. And I can worry about the rest of it uh, a little bit later. Uh, however, comma. I'm not a big fan of <laughs> waiting till later on some of that kind of stuff, so... I'm probably going to work on that tonight. Yay. <clears throat> That's my own fault. It is my own fault. Um, yeah. The the Nodecraft help was wonderful. That's part of why I'm running a little late, is I was chatting with them about what needs to happen and how that needs to work, and they sent me some wonderful advice and a wonderful guide, and... Um, That, that just means that I got I get a fair amount ahead of me in the very 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 near future like within the next couple of hours <laughs> all right let me throw some more dirt down here real quick I I hope I'm gonna be able to get the river project done I, I I'm torn because I really need to be working on that right now but I also want to get a few more challenges done and doing a couple of those challenges requires a kelp farm and I kind of need the sugar cane for for um, paper so I can I, I have one more thing to trade for emeralds because in order to do a bunch of the stuff that I need to do I need emeralds lots of emeralds did I mention emeralds I, I I really need some emeralds. Um, I still want to fix some of the some of these guys now too, because uh, I absolutely hate capital H hate those pillar blocks. Uh, but I had to use them because that was part of the requirement. That's why I, I buried as many of the pillar blocks as I could. Um, all right, don't let me forget. I put the lanterns there. I, I'm going to forget. It, it's going to be like earlier today. <laughs> I, I was finishing up with a cello. And I, I had a thought, something that I either needed to write down or do or something. And in between putting the cello in the case and setting it in the corner and walking over to my bench where my phone and notepad were, I forgot what it was that I was supposed to be doing that really important thing that I needed to make sure I did as soon as possible fled my mind between putting the cello down in the corner and walking over to the bench. All I know for sure is that it was something really important that I really needed to either do or write down right that minute. Right that minute. But I couldn't write that minute because I had a cello in my hands. <sighs> I've been told that memory is the first to go. I can't remember who told me that, though. Oh, no comments from you, Arcadius. Besides, why aren't you in voice chat? No, I do not recall what it was, unfortunately. Alright, I need those guys. I need <laughs> my starter kelp. <laughs> I almost wonder if that box is going to be worth doing. Well, I, I don't expect to get that many lily pads, so I'll do lily pads. Uh, kelp. Cooked kelp. 
raw kelp, cooked kelp, and kelp blocks. Oh, I'm going to need a couple of buckets of water. Uh, and no, I don't have a plan for this farm. I am getting ready to wing it. Because what could possibly go wrong with that, right? Right? Alright, um... I need glass. Not not a uh, not not the cobalt glass. I need the the material glass. All right. Uh, let's get some iron going. Get some bone meal going in a minute too. Yeah. Yeah. Gamma. Who wants some more iron? Come on. Everybody should be giving me two rounds of trades at a minimum. The code compels you. Give me my emeralds. <laughs> Are you serious? Dude. It's after lunch. Back to work. Don't make me turn this farm back on. Come on. Fine. Fine. Actually, I wonder if I should keep a bunch of iron blocks so I got some uh, blocks to build with. <laughs> should, should, should I go build everything out of, uh, out of, out of kelp? Out of uh, kelp blocks. Out of iron blocks. I think I got a couple of barrels worth, just in case. I got far more iron than I could trade in a day. Oh no, I would love to build it out of kelp blocks. Do you know how much kelp I had? That. That is how much kelp I have. I aim to fix that. Ooh, that reminds me. I'm going to need a hopper. Yeah, I know. That's the plan. I need a hopper. I need at least a double chest. Ooh, how many hoppers do I want to put into this? Um, how many hoppers do I have left in my cap? Forty-two out of fifty. All right, so I could put I could put two hoppers on there. I'd still like to know where that fifth monster is. Larry Mo Curly Shump. Oh, okay. Nope. I got the right number of monsters now. No, I plan to grow them. The way they're meant to be. Let me uh, let me go get some green wool too. Or now, what do I want to build this out of? I mean, I almost want to do it out of green wool just because. Well, yes, wool because uh, it's a it's a very abundant block. Or, I got plenty of prismarine, too. I could build my kelp farm out of prismarine. If I run short, I know exactly how to, uh... <laughs> I, know, I know how to make that... I know how to make that change. Of course, if I do that, I don't want to do the green glass and the prismarine, do I?
Uh, I am not getting lots of ink from my guardian farm, no. And that's probably because the cap for animals is too short of the max. And so, uh, yeah. There is a small chance that I will have to, uh, oh. No, I did not leave a small sky hole on the farm roof. Why would I do that? I, I want this to be efficient. Oh my. Alright, uh, I need two for the hoppers. I need one more chest. There we go. Why, why would I leave one for the squid, though? Oh, yeah, I forgot about Dark Burst Marine. Uh, but does the Dark Burst Marine require die, or... Because if all it requires is black death, all of it, if if uh, blah, blah, blah. if all it requires is black dye, I've got plenty of black dye. Right. Uh, oh, I was heading over to the composter. The composter. Yeah. All right. I'm not worried about that, then. What idiot put the composter all the way down here? I mean, really, who does that? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, uh, oh. I'm going to need some slime blocks, so i got some temporary blocks to work with that are quick to pick up and put down. I need to clear out a bit of that water. My kingdom for some sponges. Don't the wandering idiots trade sponges? No. Sorry, almost knocked my coffee over. I I, I think um, I think that might be something we have to fix at some very near point in f in the future and set up the uh, the wandering idiot to potentially offer a sponge trade. That could be useful. What do you price it at, though? I mean, 64 emeralds a sponge? No, that that seems a little too, too pricey, even for me. Gee, if only there was an easier way for you to communicate than furiously typing on a delay. Oh. <laughs> hey, nobody said that he was the one who killed it. He could have bought it from somebody else. That's been known to happen. Alright, get the 
coffee. Chop, chop. I get to decide if I want to make a ridiculously expensive kelp farm or not. I think I know exactly what I want to do. Um, I mean, th th this is going to be... This is going to be expensive. But worth it. This worked out in season one. All right, so if that's the kelp, I want. Oh, I, all right, I need to go grab my wrench. I mean, I feel like I should be grabbing a hammer. Because isn't that how you fix things that uh, don't want to be fixed? You go grab the hammer? No, not that hammer. The other one. The good hammer. Nothing, Beach Duck. I thought for sure that would get a, a smile, a groan, or something out of you. Alright. I want him looking... Up. There we go. I want him looking that way. And him looking that way. And I need to get this whole thing moved back a little ways. <laughs> Dug on it. <laughs> Let, let's start from a different side. Let's get our collection done. Uh, we're going to go to Hopper. Nope. Um, wrong tool for the job. Because it feels like such a waste of space to build this farm that high up when I could fit a whole other layer in uh, underneath there. But, alright, let's go with it. I need... I need ice. Do I have any ice? Uh, that's something the Wandering Trader should definitely have if I could ever get him to come by. All right, let's uh, take our packed ice placeholders. And while we're at it, I need a stair to water log. And I'll figure out the rest as we go. You grab me a paper towel while you're at it. I put the coffee cup in a uh, sudsy water puddle when I was getting the coffee, and uh, I keep dripping water on myself every time I go to take a drink of coffee. It's getting annoying. <laughs> It's getting really, really annoying. Alright. I hate trying to do stuff like this on the fly, but here we are. Alright, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need... what do I need? 
many to bring. Because I'd while away the hours. Confern with the flower. No. You know, let me just take the whole stack. And some slabs too while well, I'm at it. And a power nap? Yeah, a power nap seems good. Let's try this again. And I never did get around to that ice tray. That's something I definitely need to uh, go do something about too. Alright, because I'm me and I like to keep things neat, we're gonna get a row of these guys under here. That's gonna go right there. Um. I'm going to keep running, you know, why, don't, why do we even bother closing that? Alright. We'll put that right there. So that's going to be waterlogged, and that should roll the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks out. And because it's ice, packed ice, it should finish pushing everything over into the hopper. I need I'm gonna need this guy there we go so there are my eight guys looking up they're gonna be looking at the actual kelp plants. Those guys are going to be watching the guys watching the plants. These guys are watching the guys who are watching the plants. <laughs> you got it so far? So these guys are going to be looking at the kelp. These guys are going to be looking at the guys looking at the kelp. And these guys are going to be looking at the guys looking at the guys looking at the kelp. The idea is that when the kelp grows, this guy is going to see the change in status and fire. Uh, the redstone signal goes down and we're not going to bother trying to capture it. Because this guy is going to see that this guy fired and fire. Uh, we're not going to have anything out of the signal on this side, and that doesn't matter. Because this guy is going to see that this guy fired, and fire. And that's where the pistons that, <laughs> that harvest the kelp are going to be. <laughs> Confused yet? So those guys will go across like a so. And we're, oh, I need glass panes, not glass blocks. Um, we get that. Except I don't. No, I don't want a block there like that. I want one of those guys like that. Uh, no, I don't like that Sam I am, although I wouldn't mind some ham. Now I'm making myself hungry. Alright. <laughs> I know, right? So let's put that guy like a so.
Hmm. I begin to see the flaw in my plan. I might be able to make it work anyway. Let me uh, let me finish putting some blocks down, and then I'll try to explain the conundrum that I've created for myself. Well, at least I know that part works. That's one block too short? That's one block too short? Bummer. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We can make this work. Let me go get my axe. There's nothing that can't be solved without an X. No, that's a hammer. Alright. By the by, Arcadius, I, I thought you would, uh, if you haven't already, you should definitely watch the latest Court Killers. There is a wonderful burn about six minutes in where uh, some overemployed nitwit over at the uh, the Times wrote a big think piece about the the problems with binging television shows and whatnot. You know, it, it's a shame that we're we're yeah, one one of those type deals. Uh complaining about the binge culture that's arisen for uh for movies and TV shows and all that kind of stuff. Um which is funny in a multitude of re <laughs> for a multitude of reasons, not the least of which, because that that was actually one of the one of the big complaints about books back in the day, is that people were people instead of getting instead of getting their stories um, one chapter at a time, uh, the way it should be, people were getting them all in one shot in a book. It was just scandalous. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, they, 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 were, they started talking about that whole that whole thing. And uh, sorry, trying to. Uh, all right, I might be able to make that work. Um, I still did not think this through. <laughs> this ice path needs to be one block. There, there needs to be a block in between these guys and the collection collection area or does there no this needs to be one block lower than these guys all right so here's my problem I, I need to put up a barrier from on this side of uh, of glass panes. So if I put the glass panes right here, there's no way to get enough momentum unless these guys are up one more block or the ice is down. The yeah. Um. Anyway, well, let, let me finish the story before I forget, and then I'll get back to contemplating the let. The meaning of life, the universe, and everything, and how many blocks wide 
a thing should be. Um, <laughs> so anyway, a, a they were talking about how there were some shows that just they really benefit from binging, and that one of the one of the things that's been happening with a lot of contemporary shows is they they seem almost designed for binging. And uh, one of one of the you know. Tom talked about one of, one of the girlfriends he was dating where they they spent a lot of time binging before, you know, before it was a thing. Uh, Star Trek and uh, I forget what the other show was. But, that, you know, the, the basic idea that they, they had been binging before binging was a thing. And... Uh, It's a little too much of the same, but we'll fix that in a little bit. Um, and, and the the part that you will enjoy is they also mentioned that uh, some shows like Firefly really benefit from binging because they, you know, the episodes are relatively short, tightly written, and and just really benefited from having the entire DVD to watch. And then Tom pipes up, yes, and they benefited from being in the right order on the DVD, too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> and I just love that. I, I, I deeply, deeply enjoyed that one. <laughs> Oh, okay. But that that was that was one of the, yeah. So I, I figured you would enjoy that. I don't know why. guys we're going to watch the watchers and these guys are going to watch the ones watching the watchers and since this is the same length as this farm here I I don't know. Do I build it even with this one? Or do I do I build it even with those farms there? One of these is the wrong size. One of these is not like the other. Hmm. I mean... I'd say it doesn't matter if they match, but that's how you summon a Reyes to chat. quicker, easier way to get up. I'll tear that part of the stairs down as soon as I'm done. <laughs> I know, right? Alright, um... Green and Prismarine do not belong together. Nope. Not even a little bit. Oops, 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 oops. Ooh. I hope these two farms don't interact with each other either. Alright, I don't think I washed anything important away. Uh, white glass? With the prismarine? Or more cyan? Or blue? Or do I just go with clear? The problem with clear is I need ice to clean off the glass I just died. 
Or I just buy some more glass. Also known as, I just buy some more glass. And why am I missing a glass block? Did it? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's why I'm missing a glass block. <laughs> Alright, uh... Do I have any white glass already made? I do. Right, because that's the order, panes, and then glass blocks. I just need the one or two blocks and then a bunch of panes. He says with some pause. <laughs> Too bad you can't piece the uh, glass panes back into blocks. Take six panes and uh, craft it back into a block. I have no idea why I'm being so particular about this. There we go. I like that better. Okay. Um, and then I can start getting some water to go. Pistons back on. That's going to have to go up a block. That's going to have to go up a block. I wanted... Wait. I thought that was gonna... There we go. Except... I then want the pain. Yeah, there we go. There we go.
I'll explain in just a minute my concern. I think when these guys fire, I need to worry about the water source getting destroyed. Maybe I did have the water source one block up for that very reason. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, not a problem. Oh, come on. For serious. Stupid water sources. All right, let's try this again. Um... This is going to go up one more. That's going to go up one more. Get nervous when I'm breaking glass. That's what I was looking for. Good. And I can get my first kelp. My second kelp. I was worried about the pistons destroying the water source if I just left the water source at the level of the pistons. Um, Technically, as long as only one's firing at a time, the water sources will replenish as long as I have an extra one at each corner. Uh, however, comma, my luck is not so good that I would actually entrust that uh, that was going to work out the way I thought it would. So, um, yeah, we're going with that instead. Um, let's, uh, let's get a... don't want a roof just yet. You know why I don't want a roof just yet? No, 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 Oh, water, how do I hate thee? Let me count the ways. Alright, let's try to... 
cover some of this up. Uh, Alright, you... Wait, where did that water come from? Oh! Because... No. Sometimes water drives me absolutely batty. Oh, got another kelp. Um. Mm. This is the part that's going to take a while. <laughs> getting getting the, those first few kelp to, to get everything get everything started. Uh, actually, what I probably ought to do is go grab some bone meal and just bone meal a couple of the kelp. Oh, I forgot that was a thing. I could totally make a smaller bone meal powered farm too. Yes, I could. Yeah, so that might be the ticket. Let that farm run in the background and make a smaller bone meal powered one. So that way, whenever I need, like, kelp in a hurry, I can just keep bone mealing it. is an option. Yes, you can bone meal kelp. That is how I filled your mountain base with water. I got a bunch of water sources across the top and across the bottom and uh, used many, many blocks of bone meal. To, to grow the kelp past its normal growth point and uh, and turn the entire interior into water sources. It was uh, a very special endeavor. Oh, not bored. You, you just put on an audiobook and uh, life is good. You know how that goes. Let's go as fast as I can uh, right click. Alright, this just means that I need to find a way to, to be able to right click one of these guys <laughs> and uh, it'll be it'll be the next best thing to uh Alright, there we go. One starter set. All built and ready. See, you don't have to be that bored. It, it's not like it takes that long. You just need a lot of bone meal. Did I mention a lot of bone meal? You need a lot of bone meal. And just when you think you have enough, you need more. Hmm. I need 
need to figure out how how do I want to uh, how do I want to close this off? Um, I'm gonna leave it partly open, but I I do want something up. Oh, are you kidding me? Fine. I'll just do that much then. Gee, if only there were an easier way for you to communicate. Coffee enough. Oh, if you step off to the to your left right now, mm -hmm. look at the building design you put in. I don't know if you've messed it up moving blocks around. I but I probably have. It's there. It feels very much like an optical illusion, and I actually didn't want those stairs there. That was just to make it easier to get up and down. No, that, that's not the the S. The S is at the top. Back up a little. Follow the indention at the very top that makes the opening for the top of the S. And then the upside down stairs and the right side up stairs at the bottom make the indention for the lower one. Yeah. <laughs> Not any of you. I even. Ah, hang it in there. Alright, that's good enough. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this space, unless I make. Second one? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Do a second one that feeds into the same, the same uh, source mm -hmm. there. That's correct. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That sounds good. <laughs> good luck. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Uh, ooh, that is going to be an interesting question, though. Do I have enough glass? Surely I do. You only need, like, what, 18 uh, panes or whatever? Uh, gonna need a little more than 18 panes. How long is it? Because you only need two rows of the panes, right? Uh, three rows of eight panes. Uh, okay, I, I forgot that the back row back there was too tall. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck with that. That's not. Uh, oh. oh, Minecraft water. <laughs> How do I hate the? Of course. Now here's my. Other question. Uh, I, I, you know what? I turn this chunk into uh, deep ocean, and I might need to, so I, I can get a little more prismy. I, I don't know. I might be running a little low. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I don't see how that's a possibility. You turn the farm on for two seconds, and it's like <laughs> raining fish. I know. It's glorious, isn't it? Well, that's why we left the roof off our, or the walls off our, so you can actually stand there and have the fish rain down upon the... <laughs> that and because we have a, a very horrible, horrible, horrible collection system. Um, and we would lag the server out if I tried anything else. Don't, don't <laughs> worry, my collection system is not that much better. I really thought 
since it was six blocks wide by a chunk-ish long, uh, one minecart would be plenty? No. Narrator not voice either. chimed in, one minecart was not plenty. Uh, matter, of fact, <laughs> matter of fact, I even... I put in this little garbage disposal system over here. That dispenser is pointed down into the void. So that way, all the cod that kept clogging up the system, I could just start dumping it over by the stack. And it got to the <laughs> point that even this system was running too slow to dispense the cod as fast as it was being generated. Like, wow. it was literally faster for me to grab all the cod in my inventory run to the edge of the property, and toss it all into the void. <laughs> <laughs> I know your pain. Uh, so I don't like dare run. <laughs> I don't dare run my farm for more than five minutes. I, I fear I would, like, crash the server completely. Yeah. <laughs> because of the sheer number of entities just laying around waiting to be picked up. <laughs> I am very curious how the new how well the new server is going to run. RAM wise, we're looking at the same. It's going to be two gigs of RAM, uh, which should be good enough? Question mark. Well, it's what we currently have, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we currently have. I guess my only concern is with. File storage. Skyblock hasn't been an issue. But we generated some massive world files uh, in Season 1. And I might, instead of running a vanilla vanilla server, I may need to look into um, running paper or spigot. Uh, okay. Paper is a server type like spigot um so that uh sorry i want to fill these with blocks instead of stairs if they're going to be hidden there's no point in making it pretty um exactly. of course that's also how you summon a rest Uh, because I want to say one of the two modded systems, I just don't remember which one, actually has a, a add-in that will automatically pare down chunks that haven't been visited or modified or something like that. I just get very leery because the definitions on that kind of stuff get... Well, we've had that discussion. The definitions on those things get really hard to define. But it would be nice to have some way to, to uh, do a smidgen of purging. Because this world size has been exceedingly small. But we're also <laughs> limited to just an island. Uh, we, we don't have... We don't have you guys galumphing off into uh, wherever wherever the the winds of change take you to to go find a uh, to go find oh, a jungle and that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, it's my understanding that all the building is going to be fairly centralized once we get a community center, per se. That it that is the current plan. We also know how plans work. <laughs> oh, I need more. I need more uh, observers. <laughs> they don't last beyond the first encounter yeah. with a creeper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't. They don't last long at all. Well, that's that's the going plan, and yeah. I believe. You know what? No, you're, you're gonna have to. Uh... You're going to have to watch next season to figure out what we're doing. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure we discussed the uh, the initial build strategy off camera. Uh, I want to say we talked about part of it on camera. I just don't remember how much. Exactly. So they'll just have to wait till next season. <laughs> All three of you. 
That's right. That's right. All three of you. Tell your friends. <laughs> yeah. And I believe we're doing the launch on, or do we have a date yet? Uh, tentatively, we're talking about launching off this, uh, starting the season up on January first, just like we did for season one. Um, that that is naturally subject to uh, availability and all the other fun things that come with life. <laughs> of course. That is just a wall for main blocks, isn't it? Okay. Because that is... Right, one. This needs to go up a second block high. Some days. Some days. All right. Uh. Oh. All right. So those guys were upside down. These guys should be right side up. down yeah I know that bump does look a little different doesn't it yeah that's gonna annoy me too okay <laughs> put a second chest there uh no no it doesn't have to connect just set it there <laughs> no <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Nope, nope. That needs to be a set of stairs there. It is a set of stairs there. That needs to be a set of stairs. Mm hmm. And one block up. Uh, I gotta finish building the stuff in there. Curiously, I'm running out of space. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get you there. I know, I know. We're we're, we're going to be doing this. Uh... Bad idea. Bad. Oh, you. Ah. <laughs> Four serious. There we go, right? There we go. And then I needed... I'm going to need more stairs anyway. I got a stone cutter around the corner here, don't I? I do. Let's do that for the moment. It 
was kind of funny. Uh, uh, also, in no, not in today's Court Killers, in Daily Tech News Show, uh, Brian was the one of the one of the guests for Daily Tech News Show this week or this past Monday, and uh, <laughs> he he was there to talk about some of the the joys of trying to manage a supply chain during the pandemic. Because he's been running into the problem of, uh, as he was so burned by a company that rhymes with Shmamazon not fulfilling orders when they said they would, that he's trying to make sure that he does not promise any orders. Uh, without being able to actually like w without actual inventory on hand hmm. so if he doesn't have the product in stock in front of him right now he ain't selling it and it, it's one of the things where he's been like on the one hand uh it's been a bit of a problem because it has actively hurt his revenues. Like, his revenues are down a lot more than I would have expected. And he's like, but here's the thing. Even if we said, sure, we can get it to you. Oh, sorry. JK, lol. Um, you still end up with the same... <laughs> the same problem of not being able to deliver in the same diminished revenues. The only difference is, is that you end up with angry customers. <laughs> and he was desperately, desperately trying to not end up with angry customers. He got lucky. Uh, not lucky. He handled it right the last time. And so uh, people weren't upset because he came right out up front and said, Hey, look. I know you guys ordered puzzle boxes. We really wanted to send you puzzle boxes. But the guy who makes our boxes literally has not received the wood. <laughs> and he just made a little newsletter to, to keep everybody up to date on how things were going with their puzzle boxes, where, where they were at supply-wise, and just full, full transparency on the whole deal. And he said, you know, because he did the full transparency on the whole deal, it ended up working out in the long run with everybody being, you know, relatively reasonable. Uh, but if he had tried to handle it any other way, it would not, that would not have been a happy, that would not have been a happy thing. And, uh, I could see how that would be bad for business. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, his, his revenues are down. Uh, I want to say he said in the post show they are half what he would normally have about this time. And, uh, yeah, so that was that was more than moderately concerning. Mm. More than moderately, that's a, that's a dip into the piggy bank there. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, I need to. F I need especially after he just had that tax issue. Yep. He? Yep. Mm. Yeah. Now, now you're starting to see some of the issues where it's like, you know, you get a lot of, a lot of concerns. Uh, I need to put something on top of those, but it needs to be something that uh, can't be powered when the redstone signal from this farm fires. 
because I don't want this farm firing to trigger those pistons. And vice versa. Uh, glass would do it. Walls would do it. Although, may, uh, I don't think stairs are powered. I might be able to get away with stairs. Let, let me try getting away with stairs and see how that goes. I don't have enough though. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to go grab some more stairs. Especially since I'm gonna need them to get up here anyway. <laughs> How did I have? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. But uh, in the pre-show for the episode that he guessed of uh, Daily Tech News show that he guessed it in, one uh, one of the things that they got to chatting about was uh, <laughs> shows that that might be best left to nostalgia. <laughs> but it's a lot of those. Uh, well, what had happened was, uh, for cord killers, they needed a placeholder for one week. Um, they, they, there was a show that they were going to do for spoiler in time, but it wasn't out yet. So they needed something to fill the normal spoiler in time slot until the next show aired. And, and so Brian <laughs> conned everybody into watching Time Bandits. Which is a a very Terry Gilliam style movie. Uh, th this is one of the one of the Monty Python crew, for context. So it is appropriately bizarre and trippy and weird and everything you would come to expect from the Monty Python crew. Okay, and. Brian really, really enjoyed watching it. Tom <laughs> was a little more like, I mean, it wasn't bad, but it, it's not, it's not what I, it's not as, not as I remember. <laughs> it wasn't bad, it just wasn't good. I mean, you know, it wasn't bad, but, uh... <laughs> It could have been better. <laughs> mm. And, and uh, Brian ended up going on another show later later on that week. And apparently they, because they had never seen Time Bandits, they actually deeply, deeply enjoyed it. don't do that I've ever seen that show uh yeah you, you can you can give it a you can give it a whirl no no I'm good thanks I mean it doesn't it's not bad it, it's just <laughs> not good yeah. uh <laughs> it is very much a product of its time Very diplomatic way to say that. Uh, it, it it is very much an '80s thing. And, and uh, yeah, so having never seen it before, you you will probably enjoy it, but you'll probably also never watch it again after that. That's actually working out pretty good. That's a stack in 20 right there. Although some of that's from the bone meal from earlier, so. <laughs> nice. 
But anyway, uh, and the the question that ultimately ended up coming up is uh, knowing that some movies are better in retrospect, like. It, it, because some movies are definitely a product of you had to have been there. What knowing that that is that 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 is an effect that that is a thing. What are some movies you avoid specifically because you're trying to not ruin the warm feels you have for them? Because you enjoyed them at that time, and you deeply suspect that um, a second viewing will not be as kind as the initial. I mean, I'm pretty sure that you you've watched Cowboy Bebop since, so you know that's that would not be a candidate for this particular discussion. Um, I made the mistake of watching a couple that should have been in that category. Like, uh, I went and watched, I, I tried to, I tried to binge watch the old MacGyver because I, I remember, I remember that being an absolutely wonderful TV show. Uh, I, I, I watched it with mom and enjoyed it greatly as a child. Which one is this? MacGyver. Oh. It is it is definitely a product of its time. There there's some very late eighties, early nineties ishness that um uh does not translate well to the modern age. There we go. Does not translate well to the modern age. Um It's the bubblegum, isn't it? Oh <laughs> uh Ray Est is holding up. Star Wars, the Ewok Adventures, the Caravan of Courage, and the Battle for Endor. Yeah, no, you don't want to watch those. Uh, yeah, th there's a part of me that does. No, don't. Mm -hmm. And there's a part of me that is pretty sure that that way lies a lot of cringing and wincing uh, <laughs> and uh, a less than fun experience. I actually watched that recently. That that held up better than you would think, except for the music. Well, partially the music. That's definitely an if and then. Uh, ooh, I haven't watched the never-ending story. Reyes is standing at the DVD shelf, pulling one after another after another to recommend for this discussion. And I don't... Man... There, I thought the never-ending story the was... Audience, what she just showed you a minute ago that you said you've already seen. Oh, the animated Hobbit. Uh, from the late seventies, I think. Go go look on the back of the case. When when did that animated Hobbit come out? With the Rankin Bass uh, soundtrack that was seventy seven. Okay, yeah, yeah. On the one hand, yes, it is very much a product of nineteen seventies animation. Um, in, in particular, the music. But I never actually watched Dungeons and Dragons the animated series. Or maybe I did and didn't know that that's what it was at the time. It's Be not that bad. Because it, it, I I can't shake the feeling that I have seen that, but I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't. Uh, if I did, it was at a time that I wasn't really paying attention to what the show was. It was just we were all sitting in front of the TV watching a show together, and that's all. You know, that is the beginning and the ending of it. Does that make sense? Um, I don't know that I've ever actually shown it to you. Uh-oh. To be completely honest. What one? Uh, D&D, &D, the animation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> maybe, we, maybe we should take it with us on our Christmas trip. <laughs> I don't want to do that to your parents. <laughs> you may not.
Uh, I never watched the storyteller. I I have no I I have no idea whether or not that would have stood the test of time. If it could have stood the test of time, what it, what it actually was or wasn't. Let's go put a little glass down and then I might try to get the, uh, yeah, it's only 8.30. So I got my kelp farm together. Ooh, is there a kelp challenge that I need to put a sign down for? Um, no, because I think the kelp challenge is a part of deep sea fishing where I need cod, salmon, puffer fish, tropical fish, prismarine, crystal shards, kelp blocks, and somehow I need a nautilus shell. Is there something that gives you a nautilus shell? Yes, the challenge that requires a nautilus shell gives you a nautilus shell. Is there anything else that gives you a nautilus shell? Not that I can see off the cuff. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why it gives you a nautilus shell to begin with. Uh, I don't know. Don't, don't get me lying. I mean, without a heart of the sea, which I Well, yeah, no. Uh, the reward for the deep sea fishing is a heart of the sea, nautilus shell, a turtle, and access to the deep ocean if you didn't get it already. Oh, no. I've, I've done it. I've didn't realize it gave me a heart of the sea. Yeah. Because I was about to say, without a heart of the sea, you can't really do anything with a nautilus shell. <laughs> but you need more than one nautilus shell to turn a heart of the sea into a conduit, don't you? Eight. Eight. You gotta completely surround it. Yeah. 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 Uh, I might finish mm -hmm. that challenge just to finish the challenge, but I don't think I'm going to build a, a conduit unless you need one for one of the other challenges. Uh, you probably do for Poseidon's All. Not, not that I've seen, actually. Uh, well, um, I, I can't see Poseidon's All until I finish Deep Sea Fishing, and I can't finish Deep Sea Fishing until I get uh, more Pufferfish and Tropical Fish, and mm. Kelp Blocks, and an Autolus Shell. Dear Cod, I have all the Cod I could want, and then some. <laughs> like... I filled up two rows of cod and then called it quits. Oh no, I have enough puffer fish. I need tropical fish and I got enough salmon to manage. So I just need tropical fish. Uh, where do I need to go fishing to get more tropical fish? Or to get a higher... Let, let me ask the fishing expert, Arcadius, where do I need, what do I need to do to get more tropical fish? <laughs> I wish for fish. Uh, set your biome to, uh, ocean or one of those. And then fish it up? <laughs> no yeah, pun intended. you want to go up to level 60, uh, 62, 64, somewhere in there. Why, do you, do you not get the, do you not get them from the lower levels? Most of most of the catches you want have a better chance of spawning and you being able to fish them at the level of ocean, <laughs> which standard world used to be. I don't know if it is anymore. They've, they've <laughs> changed how yeah. Y levels work, but <laughs> it was like 62, 64. Okay. Uh, I think no, I think the I think the baseline sea level for the C Y level has changed. They just added negative Y levels. Oh. Wow, if that's... if I'm remembering correctly. I I haven't been keeping as up to date on 1.18 as I would have liked. Uh, both in terms of keeping up with the news and with all the things that were getting added. 
I did notice on Twitter that they're already working on a 1.18.1 patch. Which I feel validates my, uh, yeah, let's hold off a little bit. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't see what the, what the patch was about though. So I am, I am more than moderately curious about, uh, what, it, what exactly it was that needed patching. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> All right. Uh, since I haven't worked on the wall, I'll leave myself that space there. Oh, so much glass. And that's why I built that room. <laughs> <laughs> Safety rails. Although, there we go. Oh, uh, one of the one of the regular guests on Daily Tech News Show got a chance to test out one of the new autopilot AIs for Tesla. They actually okay. make you take a driving test to become a part of the program. And so wow. they they rolled out the beta test to entrants who scored a 100. And then they've been rolling it out to the people who scored a 99 and so on and so forth down the way. And apparently um, the, the test is a little funky in that it doesn't matter how much you speed, but if you do a hard break, it automatically tanks your overall score. Uh, by a couple points. <laughs> That's nothing new. I've heard that before. <laughs> and and uh, well, what really what makes it kind of weird is some of the whatever sensor it is that detects hard braking and some of that other stuff it is a little is a little funky. So her husband got dinged for hard braking while they were heading down the middle of an empty highway. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and, and uh, if you run into problems with the AI that that you won't need to report, because again, that's kind of the point of being in the beta program is uh, when you find the inevitable problems, you report them to the devs so they can do something about it. Um, you have to apparently hit a small button on the digital screen. <laughs> While it's happening, so it could take a snapshot of what's going on. <laughs> okay, that, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a thing. Wow. So, uh, some some bug reports didn't didn't quite uh, didn't quite make it. <laughs> and. and uh, they found out that uh, if they're really, really quick, they can um, hit the button on the steering wheel and speak really fast and get off a, um, a, a description of the problem in a, in a voice recording or voice to text. But it requires a, a, a little bit of finagling. Yeah, but they're on version ten of the uh, of the driver assist AI, and uh, you know, making improvements. <laughs> well, you said new assistant. I was gonna start wondering what they were calling it, since you know, yeah, um, it would imply a new name. No, the as long as it's not Karen. I mean, mm. I don't want Karen driving my car. <laughs> They, uh, they, they are, they are making progress. It is a thing that will eventually get there. The intent is to get it to a point where, uh, you just need a safety driver for if something weird happens in the middle of transit. Mm. That is the objective. They're not there yet, but that is the objective. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, I need to tear down the old, uh, the old sugarcane farm. I wonder if I'm going to make that pyramid challenge in time. I mean, if I get a wandering idiot to appear in time. Oh, I need shears. Yes, I have some mending and breaking shears. <laughs> Can't you always do. Mm -hmm. I also have some mending and breaking uh, flint and steel, too. <laughs> For no other reason than because I can. Alright, uh, let's take bets on how much of this stuff I end up losing because it fell on the cactuses below. No, I'm, I'm good, thanks. No? No, no I'm good. <laughs> I mean, it won't be everything, but, uh, I'm not liking the odds on, uh, some of this. I mean, I won't like it, but I won't care so much about the smooth stone and some of that. Um, but there's a oh, oh, I need to I need to take all that water out. All right, I'll get to that. I'll get to that one step at a time. Ish, adjacent. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry too much if I lose out on uh, these guys too. It's not that hard to get uh to get leaves. It's a pain. Ah! Well, <laughs> here I am. expect that to happen in a few times. Alright. I was in the middle of something before I fell into the middle of the cactus farm. Uh, what was I... I don't even remember. How bad is that? Probably about as bad as remembering that you need to do something really, really important. And in between putting down a cello and going to do the really important thing, you forgot what the really important thing was. And now it seems like you forgot what the going to do with the important thing was. What do you mean? Exactly. Because originally you said it was going to write it down. Now you're just saying it was an important thing. <laughs> no, I, I said it was either to write it down or do something. I couldn't remember which of the two it was. Oh wow! We we we, we can we can <laughs> we can go back to the video footage on this one. No, no you're good. <laughs> no, I'm not. I can't remember what it was I was supposed to do. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfectly fine. You're no, good. no part of that is good. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it all comes out in the wash. Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Not on that count. <laughs> Do I, do I need to just go fire up the audiobook and like maybe if I play the last chapter it, it'll uh, the, the chapter I was listening to when it happened it might 
by association trigger the memory? Like, is that a thing? Could that be a thing? Like, <laughs> I, I hear it's a thing based on the far away whispers of a rest. Ah. I'd give her a hard time about not joining in chat like I did for you, but I suspect she's had a hard enough time today. blocks. <sighs> I guess I don't have to worry about uh, having nothing but jack-o'-lanterns for lighting now. I think part of the reason why I'm missing a couple of slime. Oh no, whatever will I do? I wouldn't want to run out of slime. change that, <laughs> the, the, the slime farm's been working very nicely as a gold farm, thank you very much, and uh, I don't actually want to turn that off. Uh, someone did not think this went all the way through. is this going to tank my uh, island score, tearing down all the smooth stone and stuff? <laughs> Ooh, wait, we do need to find a day before before the season is done done to get everybody logged in at the same time so we can uh, check ranks. Actually, I wonder if there's an admin command that lets me pull up everybody's rank on the admin side. I would think there would be. Gonna have to go through the documentation. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I, I'll go through the documentation after I've uh, successfully moved everything over to NodeCraft. I, I must say that when when I hit the initial ticket, I didn't expect a response and got one really quick, which bodes well. Uh, oh, falling on t falling on the cactus does not bode well though. Oh. Oh, I don't want to go out that side. That side is... That side's where the void is. This... Yeah, that's the safe side. You know, I'm just going to leave that hole there. Because I'm sure I'm going to need it at least once more.
Oh. Um. I thought I had a little more wall than that. This is the outer wall. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right. <sighs> Something did not math out on that. Uh, too bad her ass doesn't own voice chat. Then I could hear her response to me saying I found I saw a really good first act. For a first act. Don't don't buy your kids a first act instrument. I probably shouldn't say that. They, they get kind of mad when people say stuff like that. They might be a smidge sensitive. Oh. Just trying not walking off the edge there. First act is not a class act. I'm not even sure what we're talking about. Uh, it is an instrument brand of, uh, it is a brand of budget accessible instruments. Yeah, that, that's what we'll call it. Budget accessible instruments. Hmm. Uh, with air quotes on instruments. Oh, wow, that's, that's sad. <laughs> Yeah. I, th I thought it was bad enough, the original you know, <laughs> comment. That just What, the, the budget accessible? Yeah. Yeah. Um Uh yeah, the the bridge is lifting up and they they would love to get a setup for it, except there's nothing to set up because there's nothing there there's no adjustable parts. You, you, you can't set up something that has nothing to, to set up. Wait, no. I needed that. Uh, let me go take what I have and put it over by it. If I were me, I would have put a barrel. Because you said it didn't have to be even. Hmm? What doesn't have to be even? Oh. <laughs> Nothing. <coughs> Never mind. <laughs> Nobody said What'd anything. What'd you do? Hmm? I built a kelp farm. Okay. Well, you gotta say it like Why that. Why do I not trust you? Huh? Because you guys made weird comments are now getting quiet when I got on. That tells me something weird is happening. What? No. <laughs> Not much. <clears throat> uh huh. Coffee craft. There's always something weird going <laughs> well, on. Well, okay. That is a very fair statement there, good sir. <laughs> By the way, while you were holding up DVDs, uh, were those your answers or just suggestions for movies that you dare not revisit for fear that uh, nostalgia is kinder than a second viewing or a recent viewing? 
those were ones that I knew of off the top of my head because we've had them, and every time I go over there and go, hmm, you know what? Maybe we should... No. <laughs> no. I don't want to know. It's so perfect in my memory. <laughs> That's fair. <clears throat> and then I don't, because it's perfect in my memory, and I would like to keep it that way. That's fair. perfect just the way I remember it. Yep. That's also why I haven't rewatched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle live action ones. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I suspect I know the answer. I suspect I know the answer, too. And it's going to make me sad. Yep. And I don't want to be sad. I mean, they had vanilla ice. I like when she's sad. But I loved it so much. You loved the Ninja Turtles so much. Did. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. You say did like it's a past tense thing. Shush. What? You shushing me. Don't hate on turtles. I'm not hating on the turtles. I like turtles. They're how you get uh, helmets in the... Oh, wait, no. Different You turtles. guys do not like turtles. What you do on this server is not an exemplary of how you like turtles. I have not done anything to turtles on the server because I have not earned any turtle eggs yet. <laughs> I don't think you just helped your case. I mean, partly did. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was all about some Ninja Turtles. Still are. Not the new ones. The new cartoon is sad. Uh, is it that the new cartoon is sad, or they're actually going back to the dark vibe that the original comic had? Because if I remember they right... They made a girl turtle, and they're now science, air quote, hackers that teleport into a digital dimension through the computer to fight the bad guys. Because... Yeah. Okay, never mind. I withdraw the question. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Like, my, I think my brain just... Okay. Yeah, that's a thing. That's what they did to my turtles. Okay, no, no, no. I, I legit thought that we were we were just, you know... Going back to the, the gritty dark roots of the original comic. And that was what you had you mad. That it wasn't the fun-loving 80s turtles, but the uh, the gritty comic turtles. I don't mind the comic turtles. I appreciate the comic turtles. I'm a little sad that, spoiler alert, uh, Donatello dies. But... <coughs> oh, in the comic? Yep. Oh. They killed him off years ago. Like... Permanently, permanently? Because, I mean, we are talking about yeah, comics. Yeah, uh, uh, while everyone else uh, goes off on a mission, he stays behind and uh, Shredder sneaks in and smashes his shell into pieces. And oh. Raphael and Michelangelo come, and come back to find his body laying there in the middle of their main base uh, with his shell literally obliterated. Oh, Why? Or, or is this a Superman dies kind of thing where we're eventually going to get... He's not dead yet. No, I think this was... It's gone on too long and the fans got too comfortable and ah. they went... No one lives forever. 
No, that's the Bond franchise. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <coughs> so it's it's a it's a little bit sad. Uh, oh bother. Nope. Ow. <laughs> Duck got it. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. But I also Land like, safe. appreciate and that they went there. Oof. Say that again? Sorry, I was too busy dying I in the think, cactus farm. I do appreciate that they went there, like as sad as that is. That they went ahead and said, uh, well... <laughs> nobody, uh, nobody's guaranteed a second appearance. Yep. Do I have one of those little stupid... And it things. was a pretty good opportunity for them to really explore the other turtles finding their feet. Ah. In the face of that. And Leonardo has a crisis because he was the leader who made the decision for them to be split up the way they were. Gotcha. And Michelangelo can't fun away his death. And Raphael has to cope with blinding anger and revenge problems. So, like, it was amazing fodder to kind of, like, reinvigorate the series. But... At what price? At a big one. At the price of a turtle. Well, that too. But, I mean... I mean, that's pretty cheap when you consider I have to do it to, like, five turtles to get you um, help. <coughs> I don't think you're helping. All right. I hear the Endermite. I know he's somewhere in here. He's over there. No, over there. I finally had my uh, mob count down to the right number. Right number for what? Oh, that's what it was. I kept trying to figure out where the extra mob was. That that was the I had every time I do the island check. I had more hostile mobs in the number than I could account for, and I forgot that I had that dude with the Halloween pumpkin sitting up on the farm waiting for you to pick him up. Oh. You know, I mean, it only took, let's see, Halloween was, uh, when? Uh, A minute ago. <laughs> and it only took me till now to figure that out. Oh. Oh my. That does not say good things. It says tired things. Well, there's a lot of the tired, too. Like, I, I think I'm going to get as far as tearing this part down. Uh, this is also going to be the perfect time for me to rebuild that section of wall because I want it uh, stone and then wood, like the rest of that. So I'll definitely take this as an opportunity to uh, to fix that up as well. I hate how much uh, smooth stone I'm losing on the uh, on the cactus down below too. Some portion of this extended out into into where the slime farm was is well not farm but slime chunk. I'll have to figure that out before too long. Ooh, 
No, 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 no. No, 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 no. How? How did I have spawnables down here? Down where? Oh, no. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, Dang I on. forgot about there. You forgot about where? <clears throat> Don't go to the bottom of my base. The bottom of your base? Yeah. There are bad guys. Remember when I crowd the mushrooms? The mushrooms? Yeah. Well, what does corralling mushrooms have to do with? Uh... Oh, did you put you put down some blocks to? Uh... Yep. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh yeah, that's right. You put down a rock ring. <sighs> Where are you at? He killed it, me. Here, have some lights. Thank you. They don't match anything. <laughs> <laughs> Who says they have to match? <laughs> I can hear the look over the microphone. <laughs> but now I have a big zombie, too. He fell in the boat. Oh, so, so you got two zombies in the boat. Mm hmm Yeah, I don't... I don't even know that I can help you. Yeah, because uh, they're, they're outside of render distance from anywhere that I could actually shoot a bow. He's dead now. Okay. The skeleton? Yep. Okay. Uh, what about your big zombie? He's fine. He's in a boat. I mean, eventually you're going to do something with a little guy, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. I should finish having a bottom part of my base, though. Yeah, I hear that's beneficial. Especially when, uh, uh, what is it called? Gravity kicks in. Although, uh, there's no way I'm finishing this before. Before the end of the <coughs> season? Oh, God, no. Yeah. I, I can't help but uh, come to that unfortunate conclusion as well. That, uh, we, we are rapidly running out of December, and, uh... There were so many plans. But next year is another season. Mm -hmm. And we'll have blocks. You have blocks now. More blocks. Not the blocks I want, but blocks nonetheless. Yeah. Did you did you hear the part earlier that uh, as soon as the live stream is done, I'm going to have to go uh, work on um, migrating the server? Nope. So I need to log off like ASAP? Uh, well, you'll have a little bit of time. <coughs> you, you guys got one more trade in you? No? Okay. Um, yeah. Because I made a goof. Uh, I don't. The, the concierge service is not going to be able to do the transfer before before the server shuts down tomorrow. Oh. So I need to move it tonight or tomorrow. I need to at least get the backup done tonight. And I can do the actual oh. rest of the move tomorrow. Hmm? Well, it's 9.05, so... Yeah, I was just thinking about that, too. Um, but I got the emeralds right now to uh, to get another round of blue, blue glass in the river there. <laughs> <laughs> and so I might do that first. That's a yes. How you doing? Hi, hi. How you doing? Hi, hi. Hello, hello. That's a yes. That's a yes. Because, man, he, you know, just out of, 
just out of curiosity. Let me uh, let me craft up this last round here. Uh, items. Times crafted. Nope. Cobblestone slabs still has the lead at 22,326. Emeralds. Then regular glass. I wonder if it counts the purchase of glasses crafted. Because I surely haven't made that much glass. Iron. Stone, spruce, bone meal, stone blocks, sticks. No, nope, I've only crafted 5,528 blue stained glass. And 500, or 5,221 iron blocks. No, nope, cyan's catching up at 2,896. Which one's uh, that first column? That first column is Time's Mind. <laughs> How do I have three monsters? <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it is a surprise to no one. Cobblestone is uh, the highest Time's Mind with 62,879. <laughs> Well, uh, hang on. You've spent more time on your cobblestone generator than I have. Uh, we'll have to get some statistics from you on that one, too. Because I suspect once we get to that part... Uh... <laughs> uh what was that? I said, yeah, I'll, I'll probably, uh, I'll have a few of you beat. I don't know that I'll have all of you beat. Uh, the only one I suspect you won't have beat might be Medic. Well, that was, that was what I was thinking. But. Yeah. <laughs> what, you didn't want to call him out in the middle of the stream? Who are you, and what have you done with Arcadius? Eh, well, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. <laughs> Still almost at uh, level 700. Getting there. And that's after tearing a bunch of stuff down. Woody four hoppers. I got the five monsters. I feel like I need to just go ahead and hatch two more chickens so I'll have the max number of animals. I could always help Reyest with her animal count. I have a middle... I got my animal one. No, I, I was joking about throwing some eggs over the wall. Oh, please don't do that. That's not funny. No? No, thank you. To spend more time working on that uh, on that part of the river too, the wall. That's one that I'm reluctant to do on stream because it's a lot of me staring there, going, "All right, how am I going to shape this? I am not the person who usually decorates this stuff." Uh, I, I, I will I will actually admit on air in a recorded moment that uh, one of the things that I miss about the the regular season versus Skyblock is in the regular season. I can go, Reyest, hide this redstone for me, please. And a beautiful building appears around the redstone. 
So we get the best of both worlds. We get a uh, we get a fully functional, awesome redstone contraption, and, and it it doesn't look like ugly. Like like nobody had gotten around to to build putting in the siding. Like bad AI be built it. Hey. I'm just saying that when like, you don't try to make it pretty and you are just doing fun, like if you look at any of the builds that you know I'm going to fix later mm -hmm. and you're not worried about anything other than function. Well, yeah, because I'm just, saying, then, then I'm not just worried about function. Redstone is pretty. Uh, okay, the only time redstone was pretty was the one time that you made that we a made light it show? Like Christmas lights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I will give you look pretty. Uh, but redstone by itself does not look like ooh, our uh, long 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 ish term plan. Are we going to do another storage system like that? There is an alternate design, however, comma, uh, you can choose which column of chests it arrives in, but not necessarily the order and location within said chests. It is marginally less lagtastic, but you have less control over where stuff ends up. I know, I, I just gave you a really hard problem. <laughs> I'm not amused by your shenanigans. They're not shenanigans. It's a legit problem. <laughs> or, or, or is this one of those questions that's not really a question? Because seriously, I don't think it's an appropriate question. What do you mean? How like, is it? Why would I know? But no, hmm? just no. 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 So you want to? So even though it's a little, little more uh, lagtastic, you want you want a farm that you know exactly uh, where everything, or a farm, <laughs> a uh, storage system where you know exactly where everything's going. So I'm going to tell you a story about tonight. Uh oh. So <laughs> buckle up, boys and girls. It's story time. My colleague. With Ray Est. And I need you guys to understand, like, this is the colleague that got me the job that I have now because this is a colleague who worked with me for a very long time at my former job. Mm -hmm. And when they found out that I was moving up this way, it was like, ooh, hold on. Uh, because we work very well together. So this is someone who, like, has known me for a significant amount of time. Um, And... Right now, the car's in the shop. And they knew I was getting a ride home anyway. And they were like, oh, hey, I have to run by Barnes & Nobles <laughs> to pick something up. Didn't you say there was something you wanted to get there for the kids we sponsored some kids for Christmas? Uh... uh what, what is this? How did a magma cube spawn on my island? Wait, what? Oh, oh, he might not have spawned over there. He might have jumped out of my farm before I put the extra ring around it. On my top floor? Uh, no, I, I don't have an answer for that one. Because he okay, would have been... Anyway. I don't think he would have gone down through the... Uh, could he, Would he have jumped up the stairs? No, no. That's, they're idiots. Like, literally... Uh, slimes and magma cubes are literally one attribute better than an armor stand. Anyway, so this person who has known me forever mm -hmm. uh, is like, do you do you want to go to Barnes and Nobles with me? I was like, uh, <laughs> yes. And then after spending a significant amount of time there. Mm-hmm. 
they look at me at checkout and the person at checkout's like, oh, do you have a Barnes and Nobles membership? And of course this person says no. Um, but then looks at me and goes, oh wait, do you? <laughs> And the clerk looks yeah. at my face and goes, I feel like that was a dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> As I then <laughs> my phone number for the membership number. <laughs> so your question from the person who has known me significantly longer than this person. Mm hmm is do I want a storage unit that puts everything in its place and has everything with a home? Mm -hmm. You could very theoretically say no in the interest of speed and lactasticness. No, no, no. You're not asking a mirror. You're, you're asking me. That's right. That's what I came here for. Ladders. I do not have your obsession and or problem with the lag because... Because you're not the I server admin. It. <laughs> and because I'm not the server <laughs> admin, exactly. And no, the reason why I brought that up is because half the reason why half the server didn't use it is because of the... It, it, it was a little... It'd be a little slow. And that's why We're stuff told. would accumulate. Is someone going to go back through every one of those columns to put everything in its home? Uh, you would have to ask the, the two individuals that constitute the half of the server that uh, didn't like waiting for the storage system. Okay. Then they have choices. <laughs> 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 wow. Okay. Okay, then uh I so now here's here comes the the follow-up questions then. Okay. Um Sorry, I just realized I broke just a little bit further down than I intended to. I just realized that I broke the, the, the cobble and stone and such a little bit further down than I intended to. I did not break down further than I intended to. I broke down as much as I, I was intended to. I thinking about that word choice, but it's like, <laughs> hmm, I hate when I break down further than I intended to, too. <laughs> it's awful when it happens, especially at work. You're not helping. No, no, I know, I know. Help wasn't in the Christmas budget Help this year. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Any other words you'd like to throw at me? <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Give it time. Okay. Give it time. <laughs> okay, so so the plan the plan is still to to do the storage system. Um obviously there are more blocks, so we're gonna have to make it a smidge bigger. Uh, how are, we're going to have to add more bulk storage, mm -hmm. almost certainly. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess the, the biggest follow up then would be, what exactly are we going to add to the bulk storage side of things and do we need to put more chests in bulk storage because it seems like we were kind of running out of space for stone and dirt 
awfully quick. Yes. Oh, I forgot to patch up that hole. Don't let me forget to patch up that hole. Hey, that hole? It shouldn't be there. Yeah, yeah, I say that every time I look at a cello, too. No, those two holes should be there. Not those two holes. The, uh, the extra ones. For, uh, from where Misadventures with Gravity happened. Ah. Uh. I mean, nobody knows how that happened. Just that there was a misadventure with gravity. Somehow. And it certainly wasn't the child who owns it. Because that oh, child no, is an no. angel and has never lied to their parents once a day in their life. Nope. Not even to save their own skin. Nope. Definitely not. And also has never had an accident with anything. Never broken anything. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, those kids. And how dare you say something bad about that kid and imply that they would lie to their parents? Yeah, I know. Because sixth graders are notorious for their truthfulness. Mm-hmm. Paragons. Can anyone tell that we've had this conversation with parents a few times? Oh, some days. Maybe some more times days. than we care. <laughs> All right. uh, so I'm definitely, I won't be able to do that tonight, but I'm Definitely going to add a second and maybe a third layer to the cactus farm. Because I need more sand. And cactus is the only way to get it. Now, watch. Next season, when I desperately do not want wandering traders to appear, eight of them will show up in the middle of the redstone contraption that I'm building. As opposed to now, where I could really use one to show up, at, you know, with a stack full of sand and maybe a Nautilus Shell or three. Um, and yet, they are nowhere to be found. Yeah. Oh, no, they're to be found on your island. On oh. Medic's island. Yeah, well, apparently so are magma cubes, so... Yeah, that that one's a head-scratcher. The, the corner two chunks where my mob farm is are set to a biome that would spawn them. Uh, but there are no blocks in those... in those chunks... Adjacent to your upper layer. The only thing I could think of is if one got out before I added that extra lip. Um, but it would have had to have pathfinded, pathfound. What is what is what is the what is the correct way to conjugate uh, that one? Um, I don't know. It would have had to have pathed up the your spiral staircase. Oh, I don't think so. And they're not that smart. Like I said, they're literally one attribute smarter than an armor stand. Yeah, I find that remarkably improbable. So, well, I'm not going to say it's impossible because... I didn't say impossible. Uh... Other creatures may have also wandered off my island onto yours. What kind of other creatures? What do you mean, what kind of other creatures? The way you said that. Oh no, they're very excellent. Oh. Where? Hmm? No. Are you, you the one who's been doing Not intentionally. 
all things are revealed. There was a breakout. <laughs> <laughs> there was a breakout. <laughs> Chicken for the tin room. Is this like pandemic or something? Like, uh, I mean, well, I, I, I mean. Chickens. The avians did flu. Oh, that was bad. I know. I almost feel bad about doing that. But not quite. No, not quite. <laughs> not enough to say you're sorry. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> not even a little bit. Yeah, so, um, sorry about that. It, it's also why I kind of smiled when you thought that the chickens were spawning on your island. I, 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 if I hadn't have said anything, I probably would have gotten away with it this entire season. Yeah, probably. I don't see how. You're the chicken guy. Everyone knows you're the one that puts chickens everywhere. I would not intentionally put chickens on Reyes Island, because that's how you get retaliation. To, to do the mm -hmm. archer a bit. Do you want retaliation? Because that's how you get retaliation. I do not want to escalate that arms race. This season. <laughs> this season. Okay. <laughs> I mean... It escalates so quickly. There, there might potentially be a future season upon which I might attempt an escalation. But it was not this season. <laughs> You're trying to imply that I might be the kind of person who would take an escalation and say challenge accepted. Oh, I'm not implying anything. Im implications are subtle. I'm not being subtle about this one. You would definitely, definitely have gone, <laughs> okay. So this is how you want to make it. You would learn redstone just to find a way to automate sending chickens over my way. Could be like a little conveyor belt. Not only would I learn redstone, I'd learn coding well enough to be able to get into it to put it so that I could have the conveyor belts that I've always wanted to deliver them. Uh, that would require server access. Okay, so I'd also have to learn hacking too. Fine. <laughs> wow. That's some dedication right there, boys and girls. And this is why and people this do is, me very well. And this is why you do not get into that with Rayust. Uh, something about counting the cost uh, of uh, of a conflict. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean this one. This one is right up there, right under. Do not start a land war in Asia. I, I, okay, you beat me to it. I, I was getting ready to do that one too. Uh, are those spruce fence? No, it doesn't matter what kind of fence posts are in the cactus farm. Nobody sees inside that. I was waiting for a comment, to be honest. What? You're not wrong. <laughs> oh, 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 so it's, so it's okay if the inside of the cactus farm is ugly. Just so long as the outside looks right. Oh, no, I was talking about the Land War in Asia and everything comments. Oh, okay. I was actually just sitting here minding my own business trying to think of uh, which series of retaliations and things was my finest. Mm-hmm. I haven't decided yet. Well, I'm sure it will absolutely sparkle and glitter once you do. I mean, that's gift giving. That's a whole different game. <laughs> no, no, not, not really. It is. Not with you. Uh, to whom is this a game? That's <laughs> <laughs> so why it's the art of gift giving. Mm hmm. Hey, I have come up with some amazing gifts. Thank you very much. Yep. You have. Uh, and I, I'm sure the recipients will just sparkle. 
yeah, they will, because I found glitter poppers. You you found what? Glitter poppers. Glitter. So like what the like the little popper firework things, but they they shoot glitter. They explode glitter. Oh. <laughs> mm. Uh, <laughs> it's going to go with the kit to make your own glitter purse. Oh. Mm. Well, there's all right, all right, yep, nope. This, this is about as good as that indoor snowball kit. That was epic. <laughs> Uh, someone, <clears throat> rest, found an indoor snowball fight kit. So you could make your own, you, you could have your own indoor snowball fight. Just add water. Just add water. All right, you know what? I don't think I want and to attempt this right gave now. gave it to... Couple of teenagers. A late elementary and middle school age boy. Hmm? <laughs> they they enjoyed the gift so much. <laughs> they did. <laughs> mm-hmm. They really did. All right. Uh. That is off. Let me get my cooked kelp. Let's see what kelp appeared in the meantime. That's not bad at all. In that in that relatively short period of time, that's forty six kelp. Uh I might have to I might need to work on an overflow system. Dried kelp? Or, no, actually, I just need more of the kelp blocks. I'll do three rows of the kelp blocks. I just completed another challenge. Which one? Uh, the torch one. Hey, did you complete it once before? Because it didn't pop up in chat. Uh, looks like I did because it's got a number two next to it. Yeah. And the number is how many times you've done it, right? Yep. That is the number of times that you've completed the challenge. Sweet. pads but sure why not all right 
I'm going to double up the cactus farm in the very near future. I need to get some more progress on the river. I need to build a sugar cane, a standalone sugarcane farm, which I'll put next to this monstrosity. Um, I'm going to need ice. I'm going to need ice for the... Uh... Actually, you know what? I might not. No, no, I think I think I know what I'm gonna do. I, I I might do a rail pickup system. That way I don't have to worry about um when the sugar cane falls on top of the No? Yeah, no, I don't know. Maybe I'll just wing it like I did today. I mean that came out pretty good aside from the massive number of uh observers involved in that little kelp farm. But it is Definitely the most compact kelp farm that I put together, and it, I mean, I won't call it the most productive farm, but it is surprisingly productive for only eight, 16 plants. The nice thing is, is the way this is built, if I, if I had the time to craft up some more observers and pistons, I could stack these modules on top of each other and uh and stack up a couple of layers on this and really really get the the kelp cranking out but there's no kelp challenge so i i don't i don't want that much kelp especially since i don't have a way to auto auto shut off this farm i forgot to design that part in the auto shut off <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that might be a problem. Oh god, that's another that's another season where I didn't manage to get an auto shut off on every farm. <sighs> season three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Season three will have uh, an auto shut off on every farm that I build. Uh I was about to say, <laughs> not every farm. <laughs> uh, look, I might go in and put auto shut offs on the farms that don't have them because, uh, eh, no need. I'll just have fifteen hoppers. No, and no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Maybe I'll start decorating with hoppers this season. I am. They make very good chandeliers. Hi, Jeppa. I needed a comfort dog. Thank you. They're stressing me out. All right. Thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, <laughs> we, I'm going to try to get as many challenges and contraptions and whatnot built as I can cram into what remains of December. Although I've also got a lot of my attention is divided into a multitude of directions, including preparation for a certain gift giving occasion that occurs later in the month. Um, doing the server migration, which is about to happen as soon as I close this off, and all, all the other fun stuff that goes along with life, which is why I've been running late and all that good fun stuff. Uh, we are taking a week off at the end of the month for some family time, for some vacation time. I am tentatively going to see if my restream account still works and maybe pre-record something so it will the the channel will still air something although this time so people don't try to chat with uh, an on junior a pre-recorded an on junior i might have some flashing text that says you know uh pre-recorded <laughs> sorry medic i shouldn't tease you like that oh uh, yes i should uh that's what friends do. That's what friends do. Alright, let's go see who is available for a raid. I hate hard decisions. Both Grimly and Beastlord J are on, and you should definitely follow both of them if you haven't already. I'm gonna say let's go give Beastlord a raid, because uh, Grimly's still doing the software development, and I noticed a lot of people didn't stick around for that. So, joining Beast Lord for some Dark Souls seems appropriate. Um, that sounds like it should be a, a branded Death Wish coffee. Dark Souls. 
Okay. I'm going to hit the title card and then the raid button. Stick around for the raid. Have fun. Enjoy. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>